Right, so today I thought I'd um, give my insight on how to tune a snare drum because I'm bored today and I thought I'd do it. So I've loosened the rezzo head all the way. I've got a a, um, a drumstick in between and I'm just going to tighten it up a tiny bit. So, so far it's one turn, two turns half turns I should say, then skip a lug. These are all finger tight as well, so so far it's just one full turn on each side. Make sure they're all finger tight. And then um, skip a lug. Again, make sure it's finger tight. I'm really terrible at remembering things, so I might forget what lug I'm doing. And then the final lug skip for this, like that, and then that's uh, pretty low at the moment, so I'm going to bring it up another two times. I should be spinning them at the same time, but the purpose I'm kind of forgetting to. But yeah, so skip a lug. lug like this and then finally skip these two it should be right I'm gonna do another turn on each I should one half turn on each lug just to make sure it's making the snares sensitive enough I like to have a pretty tight resonance side uh, so there we go. So that's uh, pretty high. I wouldn't, I wouldn't really use the drum dial on this because it's such a thin head. I'm using a Evans uh, Hazy 300 level 360 with pure sound wires. So as you can hear. Pretty, it's pretty mid, mid to high, I should say. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go on to the batter side now. Oh yeah, right. So I've already taken off the uh, the uh, the batter head. I have a Aquarian uh, texture coated, but it's pretty beat up because it's a single ply, and I I do tend to, you know lay into my drums quite a bit because you know it's fun to release some energy you know and it's it's kind of good exercise if you're uh, you know it's getting your heart rate going and it releases some uh, pent up anger if you have any or if you don't but yeah you know it's kind of it's kind of cool so when you take off a, a batter head I should uh, say to uh, just give it a good wipe down on the edges you know get rid of any drumstick residue or blood or you know if you bleed for your art you know if, if you do that who am I to uh who am I to judge so yeah so I'm going to be putting on a um Evans super tough dry head the little rings uh holes to uh, vent the snare vent the head to release any overtones I'm using a uh, pork pie brass six and a half by fourteen snare you know it's pretty ringy so using this kind of head would be kind of cool if you're uh, wanting that kind of not dead but you know less ringy sound I'm just gonna put in my ear things because uh I don't wanna you know deafen myself <laughs> not yet I'm only twenty so so yeah um we're gonna put the head on Make sure that even up with the lugs, you know, sometimes the, on this snare the uh, the tension rods they uh, they are a bit stiff to put in for some reason. So I have to uh, when they're finger tight, you know, I might have to dial it in with a drum key or something like that. Dial in, you know, get it into finger tight so it sits on the on the rim, on the rim, on the uh, bearing edge properly. So yeah, just gonna. Go around the snare, make sure they're all all 
almost think of tight, you know, just a, they're a bit stiff, I might need to put some uh, lube, some uh, lubricant in the, uh, in the old lug hole kind of thing. You know, so uh, they should all be finger tight, except these two down here. I'm going to do a couple methods of tuning the snare in it, just to uh, show what you can do with it. Yeah, it's a pretty versatile drum, you know. It's incredibly ringy though, because it's obviously a brass snare drum, so you're going to get a lot of a lot of ring, you know, a lot of, sort of high pitched, more than you know you'd have in your steel. Well, I don't know. I think it's more warm. Maybe that's aluminium, but yeah. So you know, you've got maple, which is dryish. Birch is more bright. Aluminium's dry. It's like a hybrid between a metal and a wood snare kind of thing. But I thought I'd go for a brass because I play loud, aggressive drums. So yeah, so this completely tuned off. You know, it's really, really loose. It's going to sound like crap when I when I put the uh, snares on. But anyway, we're going to do it. So the snares are completely off. So. Good for like a, a, I don't know. It it would kind of be good if you were like playing like a old seventies fat snare. You know you could you could. I don't know. It's kind of like what Matt Helders from the Arctic Monkeys is using right now. You know a, a really dead kind of kind of sound. But yeah, so the ST dry is going to eliminate most overtones. But anyway, so I'm gonna. I'm going to tune it up to where I would usually have it, so it would be, I don't know, I would be using a drum dial, but I thought I'd do it by ear today, so yeah, so I do it on based on turns, so, you know, I, I one half turn, it's kind of self-explanatory, but yeah, so I'd use two half turns here, and then skip a lug, two half turns here, skip a lug, uh, two half turns here, skip a lug, make sure they're all still finger tight, because they sometimes loosen up when you're doing this, so two half turns, so you're just doing a full whole turn on each on each uh, lug. This isn't quite fully down, so yeah. So just a, a full turn on each lug. So this is this is a uh, I don't know. It's kind of be a, a lowish tuning, more low than a dead sounding, I guess. really low, you're getting a bit of overtone. You know, you're getting a kind of, well, yeah, a lowish sound. So that would be far too low for me, you know, I like to have a pretty high pitched snare drum when I'm playing, you know, recording, I might put it down a bit, but you know, I'm just going to do a half turn around on each lug, skipping every time, just to evenly uh, have it, you know, evenly have it, you know. So yes, this is more of a mid tuning, you know, with the high, you know, with the with the high cranked bat uh, resonance side, you're going to get a lot of sensitivity anyway. But I mean, this is a mid kind of. Make sure you don't overly tighten your snares because it'll bring, like, release. What's the word? Lose the life, you know, the sensitivity of your snares, and it's gonna sound kind of boring. So this, this would be around where I'd put it. Like, I play a lot of rim shots as well, so it's gonna bring the snares to life. But yeah, but. I probably would bring it up just a quarter turn more, just just for a. Well, I don't, I don't really know, you know, just just because I like the sound of a high snare. You know, I'm pretty into Blink and Travis Barker, and you know that he he used to crank his snares up. He lowers it a bit more than he does. 
happy I used to, but you know, I like that kind of sound, so. You know, yeah, it's a. Uh, They're all pretty even right now, so this is this is more of a higher tuning. You're going into the high territory. So. You know that that's that's about as high as I'd go. You know you could, you could bring it up a quarter turn, like, like not even that, like a. <laughs> I don't know what the word is. Uh, uh, uh. Like a quarter of a half turn kind of thing, or a quarter of a. Just, just bring it up a tiny bit, you know. I'm not, I'm not gonna get into the details. You know, I wasn't very good at maths in school, so. Yeah. This is as high as I'd go, because you know, you go. Ah. You know, that's as high as I'd go. You know, and then you could, there's lots of different methods of tuning. You know, there's a, a method that um, Benny Greb uses, which is uh, he uh, he tunes one lug, one tension rod, like right the way down. Oh, two, it's two. You know, there's some drummers use one, some drummers use two. But yeah, so if you're getting them all about the same tension, then you know, you're gonna uh, you know. You know, just bring down the drum a bit, just to just to give it more of a more of a body. You know, I, I, I disregarded the uh, the uh, skipper lug thing that I was on about. You know, sorry about that. So this is kind of low. You know. Yeah, you know, that could be a uh, more of an old rock kind of thing. You know. Yeah, so what I was saying, I, I completely forgot what I was saying, so I'm going to go tune it back up by a quarter turn, so you know, you're uh, bringing the drum up a bit to uh, to where you would want it, you know. Uh, you know, that's, that's kind of low as it is, but I, I'm completely messing up right now, but yeah, so, um, I'm just showing you ways that I tune my snare, you know, this, is, this isn't a how-to video, it's just how I tune my snare, you know, I don't really have any videos where I've got my drums mic, so you can't really ask me <laughs> how I tune it, this is just how I do it, yeah, so, that's, that's pretty high, you know, you could apply some dampening if you wanted, but this is a pretty muffled head as it is, so, I think about in a live or a recording situation, you're not going to get any of the, you don't really get much overtone anyway, because you're playing cymbals and drums, you've got guitars and bass, but you know, this gives a more dampened, so. You know, that's, that's pretty high and it's pretty muffled. I, I like the sound of that, but you've got to think, from the audience perspective, are they going to hear? You know, if that starts to decay, you're not going to get much, um, you know, resonance. But yeah, so. I, for now, I'm going to take the muffling off, you know, it's, a, it's just a bit of gaffer tape, look. so yeah. Um, and what Benny Greb uses, and some other drummers, you know, he'd, uh, he'd detune the two closest lugs. And no, I'm just going to tune it down by a half turn and a quarter, but three quarters of a turn, you know, you, just these two lugs have, have taken the drum right down and given it more body, so you know, you're going to get more of a... body from it. And I think that's a cool that's a cool uh that's a cool idea that he's employed, you know, he's got he's using like a thirteen by almost thirteen by five and a quarter I think. It's a wood snare. But he's making it sound like a deep, deep wood snare, you know. But yeah, so ha ha So yeah. What I do is I just speak a lug, you know, 
know, you got more of a... You know, so... That's what I'd do anyway, but... You know, this is just a... So that's the way I tune a snare, you know, it's, it's, it's nothing, I don't expect to uh, get props from it or whatever, but it's just the way I do it, personally, and yeah, so just a quick video, well it's not, it's like 10 minutes, 20 minutes long, but thanks for watching, and uh, peace.